Okay, Michigan's push to be the epicenter in the electrification of the auto industry is taking another step forward. Friday, General Motors announced the former site of the Palace of Auburn Hills will be a new $200 million EV parts factory. Last week, Governor Gretchen Whitmer was on hand for two major EV announcements. Flow is bringing more than 700 jobs to Auburn Hills to make its ultra DC fast charger. And in Hazel Park, Borg Warner announced it will invest $20 million into expanding three Michigan facilities. Well, now the University of Michigan is announcing plans to launch an electric vehicle center to make batteries and train potential workers. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney toured the battery facility at U of M and explains the impact to the industry over the next decade. It seems like everywhere you go these days, an electric car is nearby. I believe that the cars are just getting better and better and better for the economy. Deborah Smiley is one of the drivers behind the wheel of an EV today. Everything has its challenges and its plus and its minuses. And right now it's a plus for me. Smiley says it was her grandson that encouraged her to make the switch. It looked like it has a little faster get up and uh, don't have to be going to the gas stations and you can charge at home. You can even charge at home when you don't have the system. Just have to be in pa uh, patient to let it build up. As much as electric vehicle production has ramped up over the last few years, the industry still faces its challenges. The University of Michigan is now hoping with the help of state dollars, they'll be able to help the industry grow in a more robust way. With $130 million in state funding, the University of Michigan is launching an EV center. At least $20 million will be used to train the next generation of auto workers. Another $50 million will be used to support research to develop more efficient tech. We're at the start of a transformation in the industry, a retraining of the workforce, and the reinvention of personal mobility. EV Center Director Alan Taub says it's work they've already been doing for the last seven years. Basically what it's doing is taking the, the special paint that holds the energy inside of the battery and applying it to a very, very thin uh, aluminum foil so that we can take the energy in and out of the battery in a controlled way. Greg Less says here at the University Battery Plant, companies are able to bring cutting edge materials, trying to innovate more efficient EV batteries. One that lasts longer, charges faster, and costs less. A lot of our users are either from the auto industry or are interested in supplying to the auto industry. And they're coming here to look at those next generation materials that will be in future electric vehicles. The university says it will take time to get the center up and running, but they're hoping to see the benefits on the road in years to come. The focus of this new funding, it build on what we have, make it more robust, and make sure Michigan leads in the transformation from an internal combustion engine to a battery electric vehicle. In Ann Arbor, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. Okay, Whitney, the future is exciting.